Kodak Black getting his nail carter on. They gave him a break. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BB in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently Kodak Black has gotten a favorable decision in court. Okay, so for everybody that don't know. Kodak Black is was currently incarcerated. Well, he's currently incarcerated in the in the um in the federal uh he, it was a federal crime basically. He's in the feds. And so uh basically he's in Florida or whatever the case is, but he has a case up here in New York. For everybody that don't remember, Kodak Black had got arrested coming across the border from Canada back into New York. And for everybody that don't know, when you get arrested in New York for anything that revolves around a gun charge, it's problems. So anyway, um Kodak Black, just to give everybody a real quick update for those that might not know, Kodak Black coming from Detroit doing going to do a show in new york accidentally because it was following the gps and it's pretty easy for this to happen for everybody that you know lives in that area would know they'll be able to tell you it happens to people if you're not from around there accidentally took a wrong turn went into canada by accident on the way coming back they had to go through customs going through customs they got checked kodak black had a gun in the car we don't i'm not saying it was kodak or wasn't but there was a gun in the car and there was also uh other paraphernalia or whatever the case is so um i'm gonna read to you what um somebody posted i believe this is uh one of kodak black's lawyers I, i'm not sure if he's his lawyer for this particular case but uh he's somebody i guess that deals with him i'll tell you what was posted this was posted on academics um ig by the way anyway uh so it goes on to say some good news and some frustration in regards to kodak black the case in new york is resolved it was not i was not his attorney on that case although it should have been completely dismissed as it was for the other two individuals in the same car who testified that Kodak Black knew nothing about the firearm in the vehicle and it was registered and legal to one of the other individuals he was with. They agreed to 12 months to run concurrent with his current sentence. Even the judge asked the prosecutors, why are they not dismissing Kodak Black who wanted to resolve it so he doesn't lose time in any time in federal. You see, when you are out of federal custody you lose that time on your federal case now with the coronavirus it's unknown whether it was it's unknown when they will pick him up due to this virus the bureau of prisons needs to address these issues that federal inmates are credited back time they miss due to this outbreak more information to follow this as we really need to delve deep into how Kodak Black is being treated directly, um, pardon me, differently than any other inmate and any other defendant. Next up, we did discuss what I say is triple jeopardy and the holding out, holding off on charges to attempt to a stack of defendant. Wait, hold on. So, um, it's that that's the end of that anyway. But uh, there's a couple of things that the um the the attorney says. Uh, the IG is Law Ronin. That's dope. <laughs> Let me just say, his tag is dope as shit. Law Ronin? Salute. Now, there's a couple of things I want to say about what, what he, he said in this particular um, post. Before we get to uh, the Kodak Black thing as far as the New York incident. And uh, one thing that I want to say is, if they have federal inmates that they're taking out of the federal prison, prisons because of the coronavirus and putting them in a different prison but they're still being held um you know because they're still in jail is he what did he try to say that they're not going to get their federal time 
So if the coronavirus is going on and they have to take a federal prisoner out of that federal jail and put them into like a state prison or whatever the case might be, are you trying to tell me if they got if they stay in that state prison for six, seven months because of the coronavirus, eight, nine months for the coronavirus out of federal custody, pardon me, not in the state prison, but out of federal custody. So you're trying to tell me if they were out of federal custody due to the coronavirus that they're not going to get accredited for that time? Somebody could get screwed up and the next thing you know, they serve three years outside of federal custody and he only had one more year to go. That is suck. And then you got to And then you found out now you have to serve those four years, the three that you served. Oh, man. Anyway, that's a whole nother thing for a whole nother day. That just sounds weird to me. If that's what he meant. I don't know. Somebody explain to me what he meant. Please leave that down in the comment section. All right. So, um. A couple of things that they said about this particular situation. We didn't know who the guns was owned by. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I assumed because they was trying Kodak Black Ford that that had to be a gun that he owned. Come to find out it's a legal gun. Gun, pardon me, a legal gun that somebody else owns and they charge Kodak Black for it. That's crazy. That's absolute. Now I see why they feel like the judicial system is, is trying to do something to them. You know what? Kodak Black might be right about some of this shit that was happening in the prisons. Hold on. He might be. I'm saying that happened in New York, though. Not down in Florida. And New York is just different up here, man. They, I don't know what to tell you, man. Don't. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, so um, basically they're going to gave they gave him 12 months and it's going to run concurrent with his current charges. So he's just. You know, it's just they ain't really getting no to no. It's just he got charged the time, but he he's not doing any more time. You understand what I'm saying? But he he should even have got that. What did they char What did he get in trouble for? Wait, hold on. So he was in the car with a person who had a legal gun. <laughs> hold on, I'm not trying to laugh because this shit is retarded. So he was in the car with a person who had a legal gun permit and everything. They get pulled over. The cops find the gun because it's legal. There's no reason why they shouldn't find the gun. And then Kodak Black gets charged for the gun? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so let me know what y'all guys think about this. Leave this down in the comment section. Um, I'm, I'm a, This is a win for Kodak. This is a win all the way. Um, it could have went absolutely completely different. I mean... Finding out what we know now, Kodak is it, Kodak Black is fortunate that it's not. Imagine if that really was Kodak Black gun. <laughs> oh man, they would have. This is crazy. He got twelve months for a gun that wasn't his. With while he was with the owner, there's no telling what would happen to him if they would have. Um, if he would have got charged for that gun in the, you know, any there would have been any kind of, you know malfeasance going on. Any anything, you know, out of the way going on. He might have, oh man, anyway, I'm going to keep going with this. This is retarded. Anyway, uh, also they said uh, the judge didn't even know why the prosecutor didn't dismiss the charges. Like, that's crazy. So the judge is sitting there like, yo, you really charging him for this? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I guess I'm saying the same thing. I don't get it. Um, Kodak, it says that Kodak Black just wanted to resolve it. Didn't want to lose time in the federal. Anyway, so let me know what y'all guys think about this. Did y'all think that this is the win? I think this is the win. Too bad he had to actually eat charges for some shit that I don't even know. It wasn't even a crime committed there. <laughs> Hold on. There wasn't even a crime committed. Am I wrong? Like, somebody please in the comment section explain to me where the crime was that was committed. Was there something in the in there other than just the gun? Because as far as, there wasn't a crime committed. They got it anyway. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember... Positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?